Hello, it's Stefan Joubert from the Stefan Joubert Guitar Academy and I'm going to continue with the series on how to practice. We've looked at that in the last two videos um, and uh, we're just going to continue on that and we're just going to discuss the next important point which is basically having a dedicated practice space. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is your basic setup when you practice. Um, it's so important for you to have a place where you can practice um, that's your own private personal place that's laid out and dedicated for your practice sessions. So if that's in your office that's fine but then you need to have a corner of the room where you've got your amplifier, you've got your guitar stand and everything ready to go. So for example when you get to your practice session you want to be able to plug in your guitar, have your plectrums ready, um, have your music stand in front of you, you want to have your metronome um, handy as well, preferably right on the stand um, and I would highly recommend to have a dedicated metronome, not your phone because then you can get messages and all sorts of texts and things from everybody and that's going to disturb you as well. So have your dedicated space ready with your uh, uh, with the music stand, with the metronome on and be ready to go. So you can just plug in the, the, the guitar, you've got the amplifier, get the settings ready from the, you know, from the get-go and then you won't have a lot of time to fiddle around with little bits, but you can get straight to the importance of the work that you're going to work on. Then I would also say you need to have an iPad or some sort of uh, maybe a computer or anything that can serve as a backing track um, for when you want to practice your improvisation side of things. Um, an iPad will work really well or some sort of tablet. I recommend using iReal Pro for a lot of the... Um, things to practice especially if you're into jazz guitar but it equally works well with blues guitar as well. For rock guitar playing there's a lot of other apps that you can use as well out there. Um, you can just do a search and find an, an, an app that can provide some backing tracks or alternatively you can just search on YouTube just look for backing track in the Dorian if you're practicing the Dorian mode. So that's the first step that is your basic setup. Next up, we're going to speak here about privacy and peace. You know, if you want to practice successfully, um, you absolutely need to have a private place, a place where you can practice where nobody will disturb you. Um, it's very important to let everybody know that that is your place, that is your time, and it's a private setting. No one can come into the room for that time unless there's an emergency. Um, and you should just make it very clear that it's your time to practice. Um, if people in the house, if they don't know the rules around that, you will find people will ask you questions and you will inevitably not get a good return on your guitar playing. As I'm speaking pri primarily to adults, it's very important for me, especially with my own adult students, for them to make great progress. I really, really advise all my students to really take this seriously. Um, Put a rule firmly in place that when you're practicing in your practice time, that's your time, that's your space. So make sure that, once again, you don't have your phone with you. Mobile phone should either be on flight mode or alternatively, what's even better because you know, you know how it is in this modern age, we put it on flight mode, we take out the phone, just quickly want to see if Mr. X or Y is going to say something about some sort of contract that needs to go through, so you take away the flight mode and you get disturbed again. So it's better to just take that phone, put it on flight mode, leave it, you know, as far as possible in another space of the house and get to your practice space without the phone. Um, definitely get a metronome that's separate from the phone and uh, that will then help you to have that privacy. There's also another thing that's very important to mention. Um, we did speak about the setup, but again, it's your lightning. Uh, make sure that you can see clearly um, in front of you. Make sure that you've got good lightning. So when you practice, you're not struggling to see the score. Not only will it be bad for your eyes, but at the same token, if you can't see well, it's going to be quite tiring and it's, it's not going to be conducive to a good practice environment. So make sure you've got good lights. That's going to be a very important part of, uh, of, 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 of your learning. Next up, the next point is a dedicated time. So, you know, when you practice the guitar, it's a proven fact that individuals who've got a dedicated set time for practice are far more effective than those who practice in a haphazard way. 
So you definitely want to know when you practice. So uh, a lot of my students, for example, prefer practicing in the mornings prior to work when they're fresh. So some of my students wake up at five o'clock, four o'clock, and then they do like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I, I must say, I commend them for the effort they make, you know, between having sometimes highly pressured jobs, for example, in the financial industry or uh, other industries as well, and then having to spend that time to practice before work. So uh, I commend them for that. But one thing I've seen with the successful uh, students, they've got a set time to practice. So they will say, from 5 o'clock to 5.30 a.m. I'm practicing. Now, if you're more of a free bird, you've got maybe uh, more businesses and you're more overviewing your businesses, you've got staff doing the early mornings, maybe for you, the best time to practice would be in the evenings. Um, uh, I don't want to dictate what is best because myself, for example, I love working in the evenings. Uh, sometimes I need to get up in the mornings and do things as well, so I'm there in the mornings as well. But uh, if I had a choice, and when I have choices, I do prefer to work in the evenings, and I find the evenings are better for my own development for certain things I work on. Um, so find out what works for you, but then stick with the plan. So if it's the morning, you've got your 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes you practice in the morning. If it's the evening, again, you've got your set time to practice. If you have a whole lot of time, let's say you found a way not to have to work, you're, some of my students are in that fortunate position, um, they're investing their, their finances on the side and they just have a lot of time and they're doing some hobbies. Some, some are doing some hobbies around wine, some are doing hobbies around cooking and they're also doing music. If you're in that fortunate position, you've got four hours, you can be a bit more relaxed about it. But again, it's, even if you've got a lot of time, it's better to be structured because the moment you're structured, you're going to get a better return on your time. So this was just a quick video to let you know about your practice, how the space is important, the layout is important, how you've got to have the right amplifier setting, have the right, you know, your guitars handy, have your acoustic, your classical, your electric, whatever you're working on. And in addition to working with a good instructor, if you've got a good space where people know you um, have this personal serious time that your practice time that's for you, when people know that, then you're going to get so much further in your playing. So make sure that you implement um, these points. Make sure that you make uh, that people in your household or people, if you practice at work as well, if you've got a, an office time to practice, that uh, your assistants know that nobody should disturb you at that time. Make it a serious session. Make sure people know. I'm not saying you can't have sometimes spontaneous sessions. Absolutely go for that. And of course, uh, on holiday times, you may just practice whenever you want to. But in general, have a set place set time, structured practice session, have your materials ready. And if you do that, I won't be surprised when your guitar playing starts to skyrocket. So have a fantastic day ahead. And thank you so much for listening to this video.